I should have played you the song before we pulled up so you understood what Phoenix Wright was all about. September 9th, 9.52 a.m. Just to court defendant lobby number one. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, look, Phoenix, look! Hmm? Prosecutor Edgeworth? I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. Okay, that's too much anime boy. We're looking for anime man. Oh. You're, you're <laughs> talking like a plucky, like, shonen protagonist. I feel like that. I feel like he would be like a shonen protagonist. Well, he's, he's more antagonistic towards Phoenix most of the time. Ah. Uh, most of the time. Okay. Uh, I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack this, his testimony. Less uh, No matter how, how you try to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. Maybe if I brought up a clip from the anime, you could get a better feel for this character. Might be a good idea. We now interrupt this playthrough of Phoenix Wright <laughs> for an audio from Phoenix Wright. My name is Deadpool, Wade Winston Wilson, child of the internet, mutate and not a mutant somehow. Despite everything I've gone through, come on, Marvel Comics, get your nonsense together. Just make me a mutant already. I'll take my own classification, Lombada level mutant. There's deltas, there's betas, there's alphas, and there's omegas. And then there's zetas. We don't talk about Zetas, no, 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 not a word about Zetas. Come on, they head to Nuka Timeline for that. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is now officially demonetized. <laughs> for the last time, can we end this trap Come on. Like that? Yeah. Okay. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. Better? Less nasal. In fact, no nasal. It's hard for me to do that. If I... Uh, <clears throat> oh, crap. If I raise... No, that's just my little... Uh... Want me to get this? The great Miles Edgeworth's trial. Objection. If I raise an objection, I have to go on good faith. The judge will listen to me. How's that? If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. I'm gonna go with mine. What does White have to do with the judge in his pocket? What does White have the judge in his pocket do? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty? End of story? I would do anything to get my verdict, Mr. White. Anything. What? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? Guilty will always lie to what would be found out. 
To be fair, I think Edgeworth and Gumshoe are just not in Mr. White's pocket at all. He literally tried to give a coded message, but just Phoenix is not getting it at all. There's a lot of coded messages between these two. I shouldn't be high-fiving that. Thanks. <laughs> No, there, there's fan fiction for days that rival the amount of Sonic. That rival. Sonic's and Star Wars rules between 33 and 35. Oh, okay. Don't look it up, kids. Oh. Your internet history will just be full of whatever swims around in Deadpool's head. Oh, I was going to say, they're more. These two are up there with, uh. Uh, Spock and Kirk, uh, Holmes and Watson. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yep. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Uh, Phoenix? Well, we will be starting soon. What? But wait! The defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. What?! Okay, let's do this. How to me? September 9th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number one. Did you just say district? Possibly. I'm not thinking straight. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to the to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the trials, as the details of. The events are already quite clear to the court. Today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. Yeah, well, hold on. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask as Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise a, an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Well, you've got the opportunity. Take it. Mr. Edgeworth, you have an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Maya Faye? Hmm. Bless you. Bless you. I, 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 I'm ever so sorry. Mr. Wright is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Great. He gets to show off, and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Oh, here we go. Yep. Option races. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my person personage? Uh, your name? Yes. That is what I said. Oh dear, do my... Do my lo... 
Locutions. Do my locutions confuse? Someone grew Name! Up. These two are great together. My name is Red White, plus my friends call me Blanco Nino. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the gate. You were at the gate of war. Can't keep voices. Instead, you were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Try holding the correct. Try holding the tone in a note before you you do you do the mm. voice again. And you and you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem. Why tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can rip this guy's testimony apart, if I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. I please feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing. Ho ho ho! I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Hmm? Let him have it, Phoenix. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, or that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she... she ran away. But you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant, sir. I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll start by pressing. Sweet. Pressing and presenting. I will find a resolution by lawyers on the stand and the. Weird lawyer. Free to press on the stage. How do you know what time it was? Because they can always absolutely. I oh 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 hold on. Because I am always absolutely perfect, you know. No no no! You're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mister Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for 9 o'clock. It happened soon after the, the room service arrived. Hmm, that's what Miss May said too. I always press further when you have the chance. True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Ahem, this is your concern. Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. 
Of course he could not see me. He would not need x-ray vision to pull off something like that. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing at that time? Press every statement. Chase every weed. <laughs> Press every statement. I went hen in the rooster house, didn't I? <laughs> Just a little bit. Like I got a like I got Wallace Victory by Johnny Cage. Like the help doc, I think they're in my on my chin again special. <laughs> By window, you mean the one directly across from paying to offices? Correct. That is the only window you see. And you were there reading papers? Correct. The Gatewater is a business... Or wait, the Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I am a busy man who had business to do. One thing that I feel like, because this doesn't really come up in the case, but they, I feel like there's such a gap between the the hotel and the office that that should like they shouldn't really be hearing each other. Yeah, but it's not being brought up. So it's not in the a way bed I bedlam, right? It must have. Then when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. So you were reading your papers until you heard the sound. But of course, sir. I am no snoop peeping out of windows at night. No snoop. Yeah, right. You made a career out of snooping. Why didn't he press that? Like, what did Blue Corp do? Spiky hair? You just said you were... What you just said. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly st stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Whose side is the judge on anyway? And what did you do then? What was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tapping the Fay office phone? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I cannot. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this fay woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho oh, ho, I know. After all, I am El President. Please continue. It's like a, it's pronounced President, Presidente. But President Donald is also good for his character. Yeah. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Comprende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. 
Are you sir? Yeah. As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. I'm pretty sure that we can present something here. Nice. Yeah, the victim dodged an attack in the right. Right. Means him saying to the left. Yeah, yeah. Wait, right there. Mr. White, you've been. You've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that di directly contradicts Mix May's testimony. She yeah. she clearly sta sta stated Stinky. that the victim ran right. Oh. oh, it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plan. The killer was here, and the victim here. The victim ran to the left, if the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Oh, very strange. I did see her run into the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. Great. Maybe he really did see the victim run to the left. But we did witness the killer. Wait a second. Mr. Hope? Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right. Still right, says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? That's it. Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth, for once. <laughs> ah, I doubt it. Or uh, rather, that does not clear off the contradiction. This. This is the scenario that would explain the, their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. They look so casual when they pull out. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He uh, was not... Yes, what do you mean he was not... Viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Co., of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. Wright was standing. He was standing at Point K. This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, it would appear that she ran to the left. Back to the left. Please, there's, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Uh, uh, Repscallion! The postulations of the defense are distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed. They do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho! 
You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made no made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well. Let's hear your replies testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Yep, works. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the, to the left. And then you hit her, savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her, and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Well, I already know what mm. I'm gonna yes. That does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. You bet your sweet bippy. No, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, here it is. This is a... Pressing and presenting Google. Find a resolution fighting lawyers on the stands and the kinky prostitution. I have gotta stop. I gotta get my head out of the debtors with the... rental block. <laughs> That's what you see. The autopsy says, die from a blow by a blood object. Which only says once. D says twice. Yep. So hopefully knock on wood. No penalties. I knocked on my own head, so yeah. Two. Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. Oh, <gasps> What do you have to say about say to that? Uh, Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely positively perfect? <clears throat> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you if you could ask your witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten minute break. Yes, yes, but... The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice! No! Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony... The crowd's on my side. No slipping out, out of this now, White. Mr. Mr. White. We are the Council of Two Beings! <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, the... One of the best descriptions of this game was the witnesses of having a the waterfall of perjury that falls out of their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the, to the left. The killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. 
Then, you did her in with a single blow. Thwop! Hmm. Thwop, indeed. Very well. You may begin to... the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. No. <sighs> that pig? You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that, um, the glass light stand. Right. The one that had fallen over at the sea. Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? W what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that. S sorry my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. So, um, I mostly know what I'm doing when I'm playing this game. Mostly, like, mo I know what I'm mostly doing when I'm playing Hollow Knight. Uh, Mr. Yeah. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. What? The stand broke into pieces when it fell. Oof! Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. So tell me, exactly when it was that you saw this stand? Answer the question. Oh, isn't it obvious? I saw the stand before it fell over! So, you saw the stand before the victim was attacked, then? C correct that would be s no problemo, right? Hmm. Big problemo! There's a big problemo. I mean, big problem here. What problem is this? Mr. White, let's make sure I have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Correct. That is so. It's it's conclusive, definitive, undeniable, unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand. What? what? Why couldn't he? You have proof? I sure do, Your Honor. A person in the hotel room could not have seen the the stand before it fell over. Double check. Look at this. These are the four plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White. What do you have to say to that? Uh, 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 Ridiculosity. Mr. White. If you were... In the Gatewater Hotel, as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you would have, wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. 
There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards of a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place that you could have seen that from is inside the Fay off law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Oh, ah! They always look so casual in the, the like, pull out yep. pi picture. It's like a, just a phoenix just standing there like, get out, bitch. <laughs> you done gooped. Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I... I... Miss Mia. Hey, looks like you're about to get your own verdict. That's far enough, the Phoenix, right? What? What? Er, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. What? I think the time has come. It's so far. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? W what? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The the wiretap? Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, Tap the law offices in this in this thing. What does that have to do? Your honor. The question is, when was the wire, wire tap placed in the office and by who? No, he wouldn't. Mr. White. In order to place the wire tap, you entered Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? <sighs> correct! You are most correct, Mi Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fay and Co. law offices. That is when I saw that accursed light stand. No, I'm confused. Please explain to the court with all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix White has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White would have, would have like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to the office well before the murder took place. But he went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix White's theory is revealed from the baseless conjecture, conjecture it is. Mr. White, you have testified to the court about this wiretap. <laughs> Leave it to me. Uh, I feel things. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fane Co. Law Offices. 
Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what, ha what had fallen over by the sound? Correct. That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Gah, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Miss. Good luck, Phoenix. And this is the thing we need, but it's not quite in the form we needed it. Do you, do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh, you're right. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints, several days old, were found in the Fame Co. Law offices. There was, those were obviously Mr. Wright's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already going to check on those prints. Now, Mr. Wright, tell us why you went to the Fame Co. Law offices. Why did you tap me as both? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Boo Corp was the detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Why did you know this something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a putitious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. There's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff, bluff something out of him. Her phone, or... Just, just, I'm afraid that as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. Phoenix! Yes. Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. Mia? Where am I? Talk to the lobby. The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, 
the economy awake. Gah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Phoenix! Jack, there's no, there's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. But she's still alive. Dang it! Close. You're... Maya? Do you know the Faith women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, he was that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So Maya is channeling you, Mia. That's right, I am Maya. I am also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's why I came here to tell you. Hmm? But but you don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt from the court record, right? Um, oh, yeah. The one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So... So what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The... the front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item glass light stand? Date of purchase September fourth. Boom! September fourth. That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? Pop quiz. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said that... That he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. There you go. I think the court is about to weak me. Go do it, Phoenix. You know that you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. Hajime! Oh my oh, this you do. Nani? Big brother. No, that was a. Uh, Court will <laughs> now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather. Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes. Sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. Wright is finished. All that is... is all that is required now is for me to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Mm hmm. But as Mr. Ellsworth has noted, power is more or less, more or less finished. Mr. Ellsworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let's give it. I say, let's give this Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross examination. Who was the. That's. Yeah. Now that we have the end and it's proper, no? we can. We present it to that state. Look closely at this. See the word my here written in blood? Hmm. Oh, you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. Look, 
the other side? Your Honor? Would you tell the court what's written on the other side of the receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. The date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. What, when you allegedly entered the Bay and Co. Law offices at the beginning of September, that stand could not have been there. <laughs> if Alucard ever makes that sound, I think I'm just done with all interneting. Well, Mr. Was it Owen, that bad? No, it was... Provocative. Oh. I watch too much anime. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do. <laughs> well, Mr. White. Can't get out of this one now, can you? No. It's in. What the heck? In impossible. It's impossible. Achievable. Uh oh. He's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then, that is all for the trial. Damn it, Edgeworth. Not so fast. He gets right. Eh? What? No way he can worm his way out of this one. Oh ho. Wait, you see, I have updated the autopsy! <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There's a certain thread of logic to this defendant's claims. However, there's no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Uh. Ergo. Ergo. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to t make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm? Another in inquiry. So we can falsify proof? Yeah. Most this likely. isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. I've updated the autopsy. <laughs> I wouldn't fuck you across it. This guy just makes up as evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Object! Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, if anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it will be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. Which one? What? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. <sighs> no, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with, or just make up something. And after M Mia shows up to help me, and all. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Gah. The witness will stay. But Mia? Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Memo received from Mia. Your Honor, if I may, you're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. 
I have something I would like to read to the stage. Yeah. Skull the other one. Oh. Yeah. Nicely done. Gotcha. The memo Mia had has given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. So stop! Desist! Halt! Oh. P please, stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, I met your guilt. Right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. Oh! I, I confess, I confess, I, I did it, I hit her, I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, your honor. <laughs> well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Runt. Yes, your honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, your, your honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it, it was. What on, Chish? Hmm, well. This court finds the defense. Ahem, rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. Ooh, time for the confetti. Guards, take him to the tower. That is all. The court is adjourned. September 9th, 2.24 p.m. It's the district court, defendant lobby, number one. Chun Chun. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. Congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fag. <laughs> I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm, I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it, as long as I live. As long as you... live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. Can't stay here that long. Well, what? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief? <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia. September 9th, 9.02pm, 9, 9 Fayenco Law Offices. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M Mia? Well, ha ha ha. You should have seen your. You should see your face. Mia? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! M Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote, wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. Law Offices, right? 
And who better but me? My Faye. Reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to business. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means. We're partners! Oh no! You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fall time here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Brighton Co. Law Office is, is a, has a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Let's celebrate with a brass mirror and a two lines of coke. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Wait, okay, Nick. Let's do it. Wait, watching? Yes. Ear. Everything. I think Maya is like 16. So she's. That looks just. You'll have to wait two years. <laughs> huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint just, just down the street. Come on, time's a wasted. Oh, okay. Wait up! Yay! We have to go for an American burger. The, the... Uh, that's my phone call. It was Maya's ghost. But, but now we call it. Thank you for watching another wonderful episode of Gaming with Shala. Please like, share, and subscribe, or else we'll be really sad. Tell, we Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your congressmen. Share it tell to whatever tell all social the media website you choose to visit least to annoy them the most. And we'll be seeing you all next time. Laters. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.